As this video shows, the strong winds and powerful rain toppling trees and snapping branches across the area. Look at this oh, from the east side. Yeah, absolutely scary scene there. Block after block on Milwaukee's north side showing signs of the storm. Aaron Mabin is at 15th and Capitol tonight with what neighbors are dealing with there. Aaron. <laughs> We just left 11th and Capitol. Now we're at 15th and Capitol. It was like a maze just getting here because a lot of streets are blocked by trees like this massive one right here. As we look into this right here, the branches and everything covering a car, the damage around this area is widespread. Uh, let's see, get this. Richard Lewis is capturing the aftermath. Yeah, context. Photographing tree damage. Oh, that is just unreal near his home on Milwaukee's north side. It's all this forest. It's supposed to give us peace where you can go out in there and, you know, just have a picnic or enjoy the grass. And now it's all collapsed. Rain and whipping winds won against hundreds of old trees during Tuesday's severe storm. One crashing into a home at 2nd and Randolph. Across town, limbs litter sidewalks. These high winds really did a lot of damage to our street tree population. Um, as of noon today, we had 920 calls for service due to um, uh, tree damage. This massive tree here at 11th and Capitol has been here for decades, but it came crashing down in a matter of seconds. And on its way down, it crushed this SUV, smashed the windshield, and ripped up the sidewalk. It's horrible. Viola Simulton wanted to check out the damage. We have quite a few limbs that are down and everybody's out of power over there. As crews work to restore power and clean up the mess, New Vong is collecting wood for winter. I figured this is a chance to do it. It's free. Neighbors hoping the next round of rain doesn't cause more chaos. I'm just glad I haven't heard of anybody being hurt yet, which is a blessing. Back here live, you can see where that tree toppled over. You know, we've been talking to neighbors. One neighbor telling us that the sidewalk here was once flat. And you can see that here on the sidewalk uh, that it is now lifted. Their fear after talking to them is that this tree could fall too. So they are keeping an eye on it uh, along with the city. You know, power is still out. So we're seeing neighbors who are outside right now just trying to beat the heat as crews continue to work to restore power in this area. We're live at 15th and Capitol. Aaron Mabin, Fox 6 News. Scenes that look like they're right out of a movie. Unbelievable. Aaron, thank you.